summertime in England? Or is it Wales? With summer upon us, our thoughts turn naturally to the CEA conference. But every cloud has its silver lining. Here, in a few days, more work is done than anywhere else in the world. Nothing but work. 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 That's the CEA conference. These pictures are from our CEA scrapbook. Let's go further back, to the very beginning of it all. to the memory, and the scrapbook pages turn to more modern days. Remember Porthcawl? There's always one burning topic with delegates. Where shall we hold next year's conference? Here, perhaps. Would this do? Or could we manage with this? But in the end, they took Harry Mears' counsel and settled for Bournemouth. And the vital topic that time was, apart from something or other called Edie, can't we dream up some more amusement for delegates other than golf? a job for the circuit boys. Have them going round in circles. Here we have an exhibitor climbing up the wall when he heard that CEA was giving Sir Wilfred Eady a television set. Exhibitors being taken for a ride by renters. Exhibit is on the way to the Treasury to accept an entertainment tax reduction. Hi, Whitehall. Here we come. Then on to London now. Even Pathé can't get tonight's premiere scenes on the screen just yet. But instead, we bring you exclusive pictures of the wives of exhibitors preparing for tonight's premiere. A wife or two of the CEA General Council. Mr. Fuller's staff at Shaftesbury Avenue. Wives of the Newcastle on Tyne branch. Backstage at the Grand Hotel. her 25% supporting quota. But let's get down to the serious business of the CEA. There's a big agenda ahead, and the boys want to get started. By the way, Mr. General Secretary Fuller denies the rumor that the CEA conference is to be televised. So over to the President himself, Mr. Bill Speakman. That's nice you are, Mr. Speakman, indeed. And a happy, good conference.